hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to continue with what we have left in the last session so we have created a transaction processor and uh, we made it connect to the validator and it is getting uh, the connection is getting okay and uh, the next step that we are going to do has to be uh, we have to add a actual transaction processor okay so I'm planning to use in key for now and uh, once that testing and uh, transaction submitting part and all are verified we'll create a client and uh, submit transaction to the in key then from there on we'll move on to the actual development that we are planning to do uh, so once the transaction process is done we have to create a client this can be a api layer and uh, finally we'll be a web client which is uh, can be on react js okay so let's get started with the in key transaction process okay so to do that i'll go just go to my website where i already have the code okay so you can also go to my get a profile and download this code marked as transaction in key handler okay um, so we don't need any other dependencies external dependencies for this so I'll just copy the whole code uh, we don't need to know what's in the code right now uh, since we already saw what's uh, uh, in key transaction process actually does so I'll go ahead and create a contract folder or you can name is like a handler okay and in handler i'm going to create in key.js and paste this code so this is a in key handler now okay uh, we are going to reference this in key handler over here before the start so add all the transaction handlers okay so after that transaction process dot add handler new int key handler okay so that our code is ready uh, so the next thing that we are going to do is like update it a bit uh, make it a bit more easily understandable uh, so that uh, we only have code that does the thing we want okay so to do that uh, what I'm gonna do is like uh, I need to I have removed the cbor dependency from my uh, package okay uh, the next thing i'm going to do is like remove the cbor dependency from here also okay then these variables will not be needed because the action i'm doing over here in the sample is only for demonstration okay so i'm not taking the transaction request okay whatever the transaction request comes in i'm just going to set value of 100 to name foo okay so i don't need to do any of this okay so we'll remove one by one okay so the other one thing that we will remove is like apply operator um, apply set set entry we don't need to throw internal error uh, because internal error will make uh, application run forever without uh, allowing any new commits because internal error is like reserved for internal transaction errors uh, we should generally throw the invalid transaction okay and we don't need to use cbor related thing and uh, we need a hash anyway okay and then in the in key handler we will not need this decode encode things and uh, our action function is not needed we don't need to check the action function because we know already what's the verb we need to create a address okay and uh, we don't need to get the current state value from the database okay so what we need to do is like uh, we need to set state with the value stringified value of the state value that we want to do the state value is going to be the value over here 
and the address is going to be generated from the namespace plus the foo name okay then we got a promise and instead of this promise what you are going to do is uh, await or okay we'll return the promise return context.set state okay and uh, if the state got updated and we have not received any valid updates from the table then how we are going to handle that is invalid transaction if addresses length is zero we are going to say state error nothing got updated this is also removed okay so now we got a very minimal function that does only setting foo state okay so the only thing that we need to do is like send a transaction to uh, the inky handler okay so to do that uh, we need to go and create a credential that we'll see in the next session